Are you prepared? The Legion has been defeated, but the need of demon hunters is still hot. Hot as that one night elf chick in the cinematic. And I guess Lydon is hot too. If you can overlook horns, spikes, wings, hoofs and blood that will burn and melt your skin. But such is the life of a demon hunter. Of one who has chosen this class by sacrificing everything. Friends, raid spots, community support and elitism to be able to look cool doing cool things that for some reason just don't add up on those damage meters properly. But you don't need any of that nonsense when you wield massive war glaives and zip zap around the battlefield burning all with your demonic stare and a certain dominance as the edgelord and lady of the world of Warcraft. Did you see that? You didn't see shit that was a Havoc Demon Hunter dealing damage with Felrush. That's right, Havoc is a spec that uses mobility to its advantage and then whims across the battlefield for maximum momentum damage, baby. Blink and you will miss it. Blink and you will be second on the damage meters. Who is first? The war glaving, wielding, fell magic eating, demon slaying, demon hunter. That's who's first. Grab your war glaives, leave your flying mounts at home and join the fray as the fastest melee DPS in the game. No really, your magic gives you speed. The most important thing when you want to grab the loot and GTFO. Oh, sorry, non demon hunter people. I will just jump off here and glide my way down. You in combat and you cannot mount? <laughs> Go find Illidan and tell him I sent you and he'll hook you up with a dose of demon heart so you can taste true power. Havoc is a fast paced melee spec that specializes in generating fury and spending it on back to back high octane attacks. Wanna look cool when doing shit? Play momentum like the real rebel you are. Your rotation will have you spasm out like that one time when you mixed Red Bull with coffee. Fell rush and wheeoom. Wait, where am I going? Oh, wheeoom. I'm doing so much damage. And then fall into the pit for the ultimate act of supremacy, letting fools know that even if you die, intentionally, you can still whip their asses in overall. But of course, you'll never die because you have vengeful retreat. Like a little bit. No, Vulpera, shut the fuck up and get back to being a rug. I retreat with vengeance because I am vengeance. I live in the darkness and you can too. Join me. It's nice and cozy and you will not take damage that often. Sometimes the demon blood will course through your veins and no amounts of holy rehab can take it out of your system. So much fell has been taken that you will explode through your eyes. I be me. <coughs> and shit is dead. It's not? How about a high class tango with blades? Dance with me, baby. <laughs> oh, you can't? Cause you dead. See ya. Fell rush. Hey, man, you're looking kinda skinny and wimpy. How are you even a master of blades and demon sling? Hmm. What was that? Oh, you gonna look at me now and... Wait, what? What? Oh, you're a demon! Hunter! That's right! If weeming all over the place is not your jam, then maybe demonic can be your peanut butter. Bam! Use your eye beams to enter your demon form for a few seconds and shred your enemies with style and flair and screw that look at your magnificent body those muscles that height those long locks everything flame dreamed of being and more if you too want to have hooves and wings and let loose the chaos within and look awesome when doing so play havoc but maybe you want to be a bigger demon a beefier demon a beefcake big demon well cake those beefs with vengeance wait I thought we were vengeance before. No, Vulpera. Go back to your class trainer. You can never be a cool demon hunter. The real vengeance is a tank. But whoever wants to be one? You might ask. Well, how about that young hot thing from that cinematic? Look at her. She's tanking, man. She's taking hits and not complaining. You don't see that nowadays. She tonk, she strong, she vengeance. Besides the fury resource that vengeance generates, in a similar fashion it generates something else. And for that, you might as well make sure your demon hunter is female. 
or body type 2, lol. Because you will roleplay as my girlfriend and shatter soul fragments from your victims to heal your own soul. I'm kidding, she doesn't know she's my girlfriend yet. And if you are not yet convinced that whoever will try to get close to you will get porked, just shoot out your demon spikes and see all those unsolicited touchers get skewered. Armor, parry, attack power, a 3-in-1 bargain sale and... I think I'm selling vengeance to all the gamer girls out there. Either way, there is nothing vengeance cannot do. You want to be there? Infernal strike your way there. Oh, you messed up and you wanted to be there instead? Infernal strike again, because you have two charges. And maybe you want to deal some AoE damage. Sigil! But maybe you want to shut the haters up. Sigil! Or make them cower before your might. Sigil! A unique mechanic to the Demon Hunter that was mostly Vengeance, but now Havoc has it too. Mm. But Havoc doesn't have Sigil of Chains. An even more unique mechanic that pulls the enemies into a nice little ball of health bar targets. Just ripe enough for you to bleh over them. Sorry, I sometimes don't speak English because I'm from different part of world. What I wanted to say was fell devastation will spread all your extra fell magic from last night's party, deal massive damage and heal you up because logic. And if you are still not convinced enough, after you have told all of your enemies that they have a small dick and shatter their souls into a million pieces, gather them all up for a second hit the double whammy spirit bomb which will deal even more damage debuff everyone to take more damage heal you and even deal less damage to you because if being a beefcake with spikes shooting out of your body isn't convincing enough melting their faces with bombs made out of their souls will surely do the trick this is not to say that all you will ever do is be a soul shattering demon beefcake spiky tank you can also be a fire mage at the same time Wait, Immolation Aura is a core mechanic that not only deals damage in AoE, it can be augmented to give you armor, since fire has been used as armor since ancient times. Read a book. It can also heal you, since fire has healed people since ancient times. Read a book. Can shatter soul fragments since fire... And even extend your fiery brand love on all of your enemies. That's right, if you thought that all you do is damage, then use the power of a hot iron rod that made cattle distinguishable between owners. Fiery Brand will make the target deal significantly less damage to you. Burn them alive to spread this baby onto all enemies. And if you take care and char their flesh properly, you'll extend the duration as well, making everyone also meet their fiery demise and take 25% more fire damage from you. Did I mention you can be a fire mage? Tank with vengeance, the tanking spec fire mage is always wanted. And this is why you should main a demon hunter in Dragonflight, maybe even Shadowlands as well. And if you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing meta-wise and do the most damage, take the least damage, then you should probably check our tier list as well. Thank you for watching the video. Peace. I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wow.